Happy Toner Tuesday, everyone. GD here. Glad you could all join me today. Well, one of the things I've discovered about myself here recently, during the years that I ran a business, I was a very organized person. I could tell you where everything was. Even in chaos, I knew where everything was. But um, these days, I seem to have gotten off track a little bit. Yesterday I went looking for something that uh, I needed to find and I couldn't find it. But while doing so, I came across some interesting items I forgot I had. I was planning on doing a video today since the Olympics just finished not long ago um, on some foreign Olympic coins that I came across. But I will save that for another day because today is Toner Tuesday. Now, I haven't done any toner coin um, videos in quite some time because I only have a few of them that are worth showing, and I believe I've already shown those. But as I was searching, I came across two that um, I forgot that I had, and I thought I would share those with you today. What I found here was a 1954 or a 1950 Roosevelt dime with some beautiful blue toning around his head and a little bit of red into his hairline and uh, just below the blue in Liberty. I hope that's showing up. The white on these are, are the back reverse on these are white, um, but this is an uncirculated coin. I really didn't check it to see what grade it may be, but it looks like it is a pretty clean coin. Um, if these were any more valuable, they would probably, because of the coloring, be worth me sending in to have examined. This one here is a 1954. And again, some beautiful blue toning up into the hairline and uh, along the rim above his head and some red running all the way around the rest of the rim. And again, white on the reverse. I can only assume that both of these coins were in either albums or coin rolls at the end. And um, again, both of them are uncirculated coins. This one here is actually very beautiful. But if any of you have uh, been watching any of the Toner Tuesday series that started last year, uh, I will just mention a few of the channels that I'm aware of that are doing the Toner Tuesday or have done Toner Tuesday videos in the past. And you may want to go check out some of them. Uh, and this is in no particular order. But if you do a search of Toner Tuesday on YouTube, you'll find a number of channels that have done them. But I'll just give a shout out to a few of them that I know of. Um, that is Coin Hound, Make Numismatics Great Again, Silver Surfer, Coin Sense and Nonsense, Tylen Platinum the Third, Dustin Witty, and Jaden Noble. Go check out some of their videos. But anyway. You know, folks, when I show coins here, I generally like to discuss a little bit about history, and I will do that in just a second. But one of the things I want to mention, if you happen to be one of those people that love tone coins, and some tone coins can add quite a bit of premium to the value of the coin, but this series here, the Roosevelt Dimes, seem to be a, a very affordable entry point that you can get into if you like tone coins. You know, these coins here in uncirculated condition, they don't bring too much money. Uh, you know, do a search over on eBay and you might find that uh, a blast white on these in uncirculated condition brings under $20, some of them under $10. And it does not add a lot of value to the coin with beautiful toning. So for $10, $15 a coin, you could start putting together some beautiful pieces 
with the Roosevelt Dime series in silver. But anyway, as I mentioned, I love to talk a little bit about history when I talk about coins. And the 1950s were an interesting time period. I hate to admit it, but I was born in the 1950s. But the 1950s were marked as a decade of the post-World War II boom and the dawn of the Cold War. The Korean War had started. The first business computer was created. The first U.S. transcontinental TV transmission was created. Dwight D. Eisenhower, hero of World War II, was now president. The McCarthy hearings were going on. It was quite an amazing decade. And of course, the race for space began between Russia and the United States. Russia being the first to send some, uh, some rockets into space, and the U.S. quickly came on board and took over the space race, leading up to the 1969 landing on the moon. Pretty amazing what was going on during that time period. But anyway, I just wanted to share a couple of beautiful coins. I do hope these colors are showing up because looking at them up close, they are pretty intense. The blue is just neon. And the red with that blue is just incredible to look at. So I guess what I need to do is start organizing because I have a number of things that I have forgotten that I own. And um, I think it's probably time I spend a little time trying to organize and see what other beautiful things that I can show you folks. But these here right now, I thought were well worth showing. And again, if anybody loves tone coins, you may want to go over and start taking a look at what is available in the Roosevelt Dime series pre-1964, because I think you could put together a beautiful collection at a very affordable amount. Okay, folks, just wanted to share that with you today. I hope you're all doing well. If you are new to my channel and you enjoy these kind of videos, I like to talk about gold, silver, and coins, please consider subscribing. Love to have you on board. And while you're at it, don't forget to click the like button and click all so that you can keep track of all my current videos and all my new ones to come. And to all of you that have been with me for a long time, thank you. I appreciate your support. By the way, let me just mention these two here real quick. The 1950 here had a mintage of 50,130,114, and the mintage on the 1954 was a whopping 114,010,000 203 coins. That is an amazing amount of silver that was produced back then. So that's what makes these so darn affordable. Okay, until next time, I hope you're all doing well. This is GD saying, take care.